Remember my neighbors that were clucking so much the other day? Mm-hmm. Well, they produced. You see how these here, you're expecting it to be white? They're not. They're actually green. They're actually a colored egg. These are very small. And look at the speckled ones there. I'm so thankful to have these. Aren't they beautiful? Now, the insides of these are going to be quite different from the insides of those. And if you haven't had a yard egg, you got to prepare yourself because they are very full of flavor. The yolk is strong and the yellow is a darker, darker yellow. Sometimes almost orange. Yep. Can you tell the difference in those two eggs? Mm-hmm. Which one do you think is a caged egg and which one is a yard egg? Mm-hmm. I bet you you can tell. It's another day of walking in the woods. And I find these delicate, tiny little flowers. Really pretty orange color, too. Here's one that's fully open. You see? What kind of flower is that? Look how tiny they are. They fight away to nothingness. And there's a lot of them. Yeah. They're all through the shaded undergrowth. It appears that the tall, spindly plants have still made it to the sun. What a nice walk in the woods this has been today. But I see a drive up ahead. That's okay. I'm still remote, very rural, still out here in total privacy, solitude, with the exception of the birds and the other little critters that are scampering about. Can you see what I've stumbled upon? The license plate says it's 1959, a 1959 travel trailer. Well, back then it didn't say travel trailer. It just says trailer. That's pretty awesome. Our little orange flowers have some yellow friends. Mm-hmm. They're clover blooms. You see the leaves? Yes, this walk in the woods today has been spectacular. You have to slow down and catch the small things in life. 
Our life just passes you by completely. Don't let that happen to you. It was happening to me. It was happening to me in a real bad way. But not anymore. For a few days now, I've been trying to understand this unusual mound here. It's deep in the thicket of the woods. And it's quite overgrown too. So it's been here for a while. You can hear them close by at the neighbors, can't you? It wasn't until recently as in like maybe 10 minutes ago, then I realized what this mound is. Look how straight up it is. I think there's a secret to it somewhere, but the secret's probably on the other side. What do y'all think it is? Hmm? Think I can get up on it? Wow. This is certainly going to be one of my favorite little hideouts. I can see now where this dirt came from. Where this mound came from out here in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. The neighbors have a lake, or pond, or tank, whatever you want to call it. I grew up calling that a tank. We call it a stock tank for where the animals, the cows and things, would come to drink. We would sometimes stock them with fish, but mostly we swam in them. And we swam a lot in them too. Yeah, that's a brand new fence right there. So it looks to me that this land that I'm standing on was at once part of that land over there where the water is. Because there is a powerful fence through there. So whomever sold what, somebody got the water hole and somebody got the dirt fill but i gotta tell you this dirt fill and the way that it's grown it's quite interesting what i would have given as a little child roaming around in the woods to find a little enclave like this softly carpeted with all this beautiful pine. And yes, roosters crowing next door. <laughs> oh my. Let's walk around a bit, see what else we can find. Right here in the middle of these tall pines. Look at the new growth. For a moment, I thought it was a fig tree. Look how big those leaves are. Especially these over here. Look just like fig tree leaves. But you know and I know they're not. They're oak. Mm -hmm. It's a gorgeous day today. I have a few little projects I want to work on. But at first, I decided to go ahead and take Nibbler for a little walk. He loves walking and getting his cat salad. And you would not believe what I found. Right here. Right here, just across the little drive. He was over here eating grass. And I noticed that there's all... 